So I was one of the futurists, uh, meaning that we had to think outside of the box and think about the future of the brake bulk industry, really. And uh, so we try to bring a lot of you know, thoughts and, 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 and market trends that we see in the market together on, on stage and try to share a bit of a few in the future uh, where this industry is going. I think overall um, in, in, the, in the shipping sector, the brake bulk industry is a little bit conservative is uh, maybe a little bit behind the wave in terms of new technological developments, but we see it catching up very quickly. And I think it's a very exciting time to be around, and especially in this conference, to see you know, all these new things happening and, uh, and this almost like fresh energy that's coming from the crowd. It's really exciting. Well, I think overall, eventually, cargo will move from one place to another without human interference. And, um, and when that is, is somewhere in the future, we don't know when. But eventually, human, human part of it will, will uh, be less and less and less. Not only in the handling of it, but also in the administrative side, with new technologies like blockchain or artificial intelligence hitting um, uh, you know, the, the market quite hard. Eventually, what it comes down to is that all these technologies uh, move into an area of data processing and, and, and data processing will go a lot faster and a lot faster and that will also provide a competitive edge for, for certain parties. Um, overall, I mean, data, well, I hope at least the audience takes away from it that data is, is going to become a commodity and that guarding your data is smart, but only to some extent. Uh, because processing that data at, at, at an efficient way and in a way faster than your comp competition is what is actually going to provide the competitive edge of the future. Because I think in this sector, it's, it, it, it's, it's such a strong network sector where individuals have been working with each other for decades. And that means also you sort of narrow down your view on the market because you always interact with the same people. There is a number of global operators, of course, there's a number of global developments, but everybody's sort of shielding off their, um, their own interest. And, and at an event like this, that sort of that, that, that wall of you know, seclusion is almost um, you know, evaporating to some extent. So it's really great to have all kinds of conversations in the fringes of presentations and, and, and in booths where suddenly um, you know, people are a little bit more open and, uh, and you get a lot of inspiration and, and, and feeling of, of how the future is going to go.